Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs from the Board of Studies portal of the Institute. We are trying to be covering every possible question for SCPM. Your examination is MCQ based and that is why we are trying to be covering every possible MCQ. All the module MCQs are already there on our YouTube channel, arranged in a single playlist form also and arranged in a separate uh, playlist form, one for each chapter. Two things before I'll begin with today's video, in case you wish to be enrolling for our course, okay, link is there in the description and the lectures have unlimited views. Apart from that, you can watch the lectures on the Android app or iOS app or you can browse them on the laptop, wherever you all want. One day you can do one thing, the other day you all can do the other thing. Okay, that is one. Second, in case you still have any doubts on SCPM, then you can write to us on Telegram ID at the rate HNX. With that, I'll start away with today's question. It's chapter number six. This is relevant costing, although it is titled as strategic revenue management. Now, one of the topics in that was true economic value, also called as uh, objective value. This question is all about that. It's slightly a long question. Pay attention, please. Power on manufacturers, batteries that power medical devices like medical imaging system, uh, defibrillators, ventilators and monitoring devices. Power on has customers who are medical equipment manufacturers who use uh, these while making medical devices and machines. But TAD is the latest model of battery that power on has developed. Okay, so in this question, we are a company called as power on. We have made a battery called as Batad, okay, B-A-T-A-I-D, okay. It is safe, stable, long lasting. These are very important attributes since the performance of medical devices can be affected by them. Power on wishes to arrive at a price for Batad batteries. This is market. This market has many similar batteries available, okay. However, Batad of, of a much, Batad is of a much higher quality as compared to the rest. So therefore, our product is far better than that of the other batteries which are available in the market. The nearest comparable battery is BAT1. Okay, so there is a competitor who makes a battery called as BAT1. We make a battery called as Batad. Okay, so particulars, Batad and BAT1. BAT1 is a competitor, okay, operating cost per hour. For BAT1, it is less, 1 rupee per hour. Our battery costs rupees 2 per hour or whatever the currency is. Okay. So, this is the advantage of BAT1. If BAT1 has some advantage, then our price will become less because we are the competitors. But there is one advantage also. See the next line. Probability of battery failing. There it is 1% and there it is 11%. So, therefore, our chances of our battery failing is only 1. There it is 11% here. Yeah. Price of the battery per unit, question mark, in the original question was not applicable. I made that as question mark for some reason. BAT1 cost 20,000. Due to the critical nature of the medical devices which is used, the cost of battery failing to the buyer has been arrived at 1 lakh rupees. Okay. So, in case the battery fails, that costs the user rupees 1 lakh. It's something like this. Say that your hard disk crashed. So therefore, then you might have to give it for data recovery, okay, that will cost you 1 lakh rupees. So something like that. Both batteries, Batad and Bat1 can be used on an average for 8,000 hours. Calculate the value differential of using Batad, okay. Value differential means what? Now, first of all, whatever I'm about to be saying, this is part of a bigger concept called as TEV, true economic value. Let me explain you what is TEV, automatically value differential will come as part of that, see. Uh, first of all, these are the four options, beta. So, 20,000, 2,000, 23,000 and 22,000. Okay. Now, what do you mean by true economic value? See, you want to be arriving at the price of your product that you all have launched. How to be doing that? See the price of the next best competitor. Okay. And then try to be seeing what is the difference between your product features and competitor product features from the customer's angle. And adjust that particular thing to arrive at the price of your product. Okay. I'm not saying this is how it happens, but just example. Suppose Apple launches its new product. Okay. Say new phone. It wants to use TEV concept. It tries to be thinking. If people don't buy iPhone, say that they will buy the latest phone of Samsung. That costs a one and a half lakh rupees. So therefore, Samsung's price is one and a half lakh. Apple wants to be arriving at the price of their product. 
okay if they decide to be using tev then they should try to be finding out value of performance differential example apple thinks that our camera is far better than that of samsung that difference in money from customer's angle is say 5000 rupees okay so therefore 150 is a price of uh, samsung but apple's camera is better in monetary terms that is say rupees 5000 so therefore apple's price sh should be 155000 but then it thinks that Samsung's display is better than that of Apple. And the value of that thing is say 2000 rupees more. So therefore Samsung has a benefit. Its display is far better and the monetary value of that is rupees 2000. So therefore deduct 2000 rupees from that 155. So therefore that will remain as 153. So therefore what I'm trying to be saying price of next best competitor that was 150. Plus and minus value of performance differential. Camera was better. Its value was 5000. Then the display was inferior of Apple. Okay. Due to that, it will be charging 2000 rupees less. So therefore net, it will be charging 3000 rupees extra. So value of performance differential is going to be 3000. So 150 plus 3000 will be giving you 153. Something like that we have to be thinking in this question also. Although we don't have to be finding out TEV. I'll find out that towards the end for your reference. But you have to be finding out value of performance differential. So therefore the question was what? See, what is advantage of BATAD? We are trying to be finding out value of performance differential of BATAD. Okay. So therefore we have one advantage. Our probability of failing is only 1% as compared to 11%. So therefore 10% is better. 10% in case the battery fails that cost rupees 1 lakh. So therefore 1 lakh into 10%, 10,000 rupees is the advantage of BATAD. Okay, because probability of failing is far less over here. Okay, but then there is one disadvantage also. What is that kind of the disadvantage operating cost per hour is more of BATAD. 2 rupees minus 1 rupee or whatever the currency is. Okay, so 1 rupee per hour into check below 8,000 hours. So therefore 8,000 is the extra cost of BATAD. But these are the only two things. So therefore, I've put them over here. Uh, savings due to more stable performance. 11% minus 1% into rupees 1 lakh. So therefore, it is 10,000. But then there is extra operating cost of 2 minus 1 into 8,000. That is 8,000. So therefore, value differential is 2,000. So out of the four answers, point number 2 should be the correct answer. So therefore, that is the correct one. Now that's done. But then one more thing also. See. Now, if you all see the question over here, bat 1 costs how much rupees beta? 20,000. If it was asked in the question that try to be finding out TEV, try to be finding out TEV. If TEV of BATAD was asked, then it is price of the next best competitor that's bat 1, that is 20,000. Plus minus value of performance differential, that was 2,000. Okay, so therefore... 20,000 plus 2,000 answer would have been 22,000 if it was asked, although it is not asked in the question. Okay, that's it about this question. This is the QR code for all the MCQs of the module that uh, we all have framed one video for like, you know, each of them. All the case study questions are also there in form of one single video. Okay, there are around 65 videos in all, I think. So do ensure that you check out this playlist. It will contain exhaustively not only the MCQs, but also the concepts regarding uh, revolving around the MCQs. Okay, I'll see you all next time in another lecture. Till then, take care guys. Bye.